Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to our family China. Welcome to Susan and family. How are you guys doing? Hope you are doing great. So as for me and my child, we are doing great by His grace. And I pray so for you all in Jesus' name. Amen. So today I'm going to be having a topic of how to overcome stress. I'm going to be talking about two topics today. One, how to overcome stress and two, how to recognize that you are stressed. So I just listed some points here. So let's just get started. No wasted time. So how you can overcome stress. Number one says eat a healthy diet. Food like vegetables and fruits. After eating, try most of the food you eat. Try let there be vegetable you know how to overcome stress, eat healthy diet, vegetables, and fruits. So I have to get enough sleep, you know. So for you to overcome stress, get enough sleep, relax a lot, you know. Like, let me use myself as, as an example. I'm the type that I cannot sit down for one minute without doing something. I always like to be busy, you know. Maybe it's too much energy in me, I don't know. But it is, you know... It is really good to overcome stress for you to have enough sleep, have enough relax, not every time stressing yourself, every time you want to be, you know, you want to, you know, even five minutes is like, it's too big for you. You want to do something like me. I'm using myself as an example. I can't sit one, five minutes without not busy. I feel that maybe, oh, what am I doing, you know? So to overcome stress, get enough sleep. So my number three says, Getting moving, take a stroll, walk around outside, stroll or with a bicycle, exercise your body always. So what this number three is trying to say that we should always walk around, you know, go out, whether with your foot, stroll around or with a bicycle, exercise your body, let, you know, let your, you know, always have, let your body get a fit, always exercise your body. So for me, I always do walking all around. You know, I prefer to use my foot, walking around, going to supermarkets, going to take my daughter to school, bring her from school, than using the buses in the tram, you know. So I exercise myself a lot. So, so overcome stress. Number three says, get moving. Take a stroll. Walk around outside. Either with your foot, stroll around, or with a bicycle. Exercise your body always. So, number four says, Try some sound, some music that you like, you know, to overcome stress. Try some sound always. Always put on music that you like. If it's a Christian music, is if it, any music that you know that makes you happy, that you like, you know, always put on music, listening to music that you like. So I have five. Five says watch comedy. Watch comedies, watch movies that will make you laugh to overcome stress. Watch comedy, read your hobbies. You know what are your hobbies? Everybody have hobbies. For me, I love cooking. I love walking around. I love shopping. I love cleaning. I love watching movies. I love, you know, reading, you know. So there are so many hobbies, you know, even sports. This sports, doing bicycle, all is hobby, you know. So any hobby that you like, always do it, you know, to overcome stress and watch movie like comedy that will make you laugh you know so if you follow me on my facebook page i have a facebook page called lessons of life you know in facebook so try and follow me through my name on facebook victory bear then you can get me on my facebook page you know <laughs> lessons of life so i always like to post now videos like marriages like baby and comedies, you know, babies, they are so, they are so funny. So I love to put it on now, not only talking about lessons of life, you know, because sometimes it's like you are thinking. So when you see something on, you know, like in the lessons of life, you see something, someone posts something funny, like the baby's video, you know, you start, before you know, you start laughing. So laughing, we know we overcome the stress in you or laughing will overcome what would have brought stress in you. So try to watch comedy movies try to watch movies that will make you laugh try to read try to do the hobbies that you love to overcome stress so i also have six 
See, it says, relax in the park. Change your scenery. Like changing places you always visit. So, you know, relax in the park. You understand? It will also make you to overcome your stretch, your stress. Change your scenery. Like changing places you always visit. It's like maybe you always go to one park, one particular park, one particular park all the time. Try to visit other parks. Try to visit other places, you know, to overcome your stress. So I also have seven. Seven says find social. Take a class. Find a friend. You can also be a voluntary worker. Voluntary worker. When you don't have job to avoid thinking that will lead to stress so seven is saying find social places you know like facebook is a social places where you can meet good people you know you don't know them before we pray not for us to we pray we should not meet bad people on the social media you know gosh connect us to good people on facebook to all social media so try to be connected with social media where you can meet people where you can make friends you know if it's in the class you go to school or anything or you know if you are not working try to be a voluntary worker you know so i've been a voluntary worker for almost two years now you know so it really helps me a lot if you are not working instead of sitting home doing nothing try and do something for the community doesn't mean that you are stupid you know try to be a voluntary worker you know if you are not working you know when you are working doing your voluntary work the stress, you won't even think anything, you know. You will not think to avoid thinking, to avoid worries, you know, that will lead to stress. So it's better you go on social media, make friends, you know, do a voluntary work when you are not working to avoid stress, to avoid thinking that will lead to stress. So I also write, try to find a happy place to get off the stress and move to your place of peace so i hope i've written some few points that you know you will learn and uh, maybe you you know you know some of it that i've already said now maybe you don't know all you know so with the few ones i just mentioned now if you are able to do these few points these few tips i just mentioned now i think you will be able to overcome your stress if maybe there's anything stressing you you is there anything you are thinking about anything bothering you anything you are worried about try to do some of these tips you know this ones i just talked about i think it will overcome the stress that was supposed to come from you so now let's go to how to recognize you are stressed so this is number two we are just we just did how to overcome stress topic one so we are in topic two how to recognize you are stressed i wrote one be in a depressed move when you are in a depressed move you will recognize that you are already stressed because it's stress that leads to this you know depression so when when you are in a depressed move you will recognize that you are already stressed up you know so i wrote two lose of interest in pleasurable activities so when you lose interest in that pleasurable activities that you always do, like I love cooking, I love cook, cleaning, I love, you know, doing many things. So I don't pray to lose, you know, interest in all those things. So you begin to recognize that there is stress. So all the things that you have pleasure in doing, when you lose, you know, when you lose interest in those things that you have pleasure in doing, you will know that, you know, you recognize that you are being stressed. So I have three sleep problems. When you don't sleep at night, you don't sleep in the day, you don't sleep at night, you have sleep problems, you will recognize that you are stressed. So I have four, change in appetite or weight. When you see that your appetite, the way you eat before, oh, 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 you know, you no longer, you don't have appetite of eating what you love to eat anymore. You have to know that. You recognize that you are stressed. And weight, when you are losing weight, maybe not that you want to lose weight, not that you are on diet or the doctor told you to do go on diet and you are eating, but you are losing weight. So you have to recognize also that you are stressed, you know. So it's the stress in you 
that is making you not to have appetite, is stressing you, that is making you not to have weight when you are not on diet, is in stressing you, that is making you not to sleep in the day, not to sleep in the night, the stress in you that makes you to lose interest in what you have pleasure in doing, you know. It is the stress in you that will make you to be depressed, to be in a depressed mood. So let's continue. So I have five. Five says decreased energy. Motivation motivation when you decrease in energy when you don't have when you don't have enough energy in you as you always do like me now I'm always busy 24 hours I've done so many things for today and I still have a lot of things to do after this video right now I'm going to make a food I'm going to cook jollof I'm going to do salad before I fry chicken so before I do all those things see guys you know it will take like maybe an hour to an, two hours then from there, I will go through, I'm going online lessons, what we talked before, I want to go through it for tomorrow, you know, so when you are, <laughs> when you are always busy, you have the energy in you to do things, but when you notice that you don't have that energy that you always use in doing things anymore, you have to recognize that you are already stressed, you know, so motivation. When you are motivated in doing things and you see that you don't have that motivation in you in doing all those things anymore so you have to recognize that you are stressed so i have six six says difficulties concentrating when you have difficulties in concentrating just like we pray for our children not to have stress in their studies you know so some children in university maybe when they are stressed up they cannot concentrate we pray for our children whether in the primary school, in the nursery school, in the secondary school, Father God, remove garments of stress from our kids, you know, so that they will be able to concentrate. When you have difficulties concentrating, notice that you are already recognized, that you are already stressed up. So I have seven. Seven says, feeling helpless or hopeless. When you feel helpless, when you feel that you cannot help yourself anymore, and when you feel that... You know what you have hope on you know you don't have hope on it anymore notice that recognize that you are already stressed up so i have it it says affects affects functionally you know or ability to do daily activities when what you function in doing daily your daily activ activities that you function to do every time you are no more active in doing all those, you know, activities that you do, your daily job, maybe going to work, taking our children to school, bringing them from school, cleaning, cooking, and you don't have the, you know, you are no more function, you are no more functionally good in all those things, your daily duties that you do, you are no more functionally good. Notice, recognize that you are stressed. So, guys, and beautiful people, I hope, you know, I've put on here some points for you to overcome stress which is the first topic and the second one some points for us to recognize that you are stressed so i also move on in continuation of how to overcome stress you know so i say try to stay away from that will not make you happy because when you are doing things that will not make you happy before you know it you will be stressed up you know so do things that will always make you happy. So I also had a try to make yourself happy and be surrounded with people who are active, happy, and positive. So try all your best, you know, to make yourself happy no matter what. Be surrounded with people that are happy. Be surrounded with people that are active and people that will always speak positive things to you. So I also had a let go of all your worries, troubles, and thinkings because the brain does not need too much thinkings, too much worries, and too much troubles, with, which will lead to you having stress. So this brain is so small in there. When you think too much, when you worry too much, when you trouble too much, just look at this only three I just mentioned, you know, guys. So I want to see your comments. You know, I know so many people are there you have a lot i want you to add more you know in this topic please so that everybody can learn to overcome stress and to recognize when you are stressed you know so when you have too, too much worries in your brain too much troubles in your brain too much thinking dear oh my god the brain is small 
how, 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 you know how many can be bring tick worries thinkings troubles up together you know it won't bring you know so it will lead to you being stressed you know so then i also say try to always keep yourself busy when you are busy you know you will not you you will not have time to think you will not have the time to worry over anything you will not have the time to even think of troubles because you are always busy when you are not relaxing when you are not relaxing relax is good but when you are not relaxing try to be busy with something to avoid worries to avoid troubles to avoid thinkings you know so i also wrote above all always do things that will make you happy that is the for me that is the number one key point of this to overcome stress to me i've noticed that doing things that will make you happy will really make you overcome any stress you had or you are having or any stress you would have had when you do things that will make you happy always it will overcome any stress in jesus name amen so with these points i just mentioned i believe you you know you will be able to know what you will do and what you will not do to overcome stress thanks for watching hope you love this video if you want to see next of my chit chat videos you know thumbs up subscribe to our channel i'm not seeing any, any subscription but i'm seeing that people are beginning to watch you know our youtube channel already you know so please subscribe to our family channel support this channel you know i also want to see your comment try right below don't be shy you know we are all learning if there's anything you know about how to overcome stress and how to recognize stress guys so please just write it comment below so that we can all learn from it you know see you in our next video by god's grace bye love you bye